might add a, a shoulder as you're doing that. So I might go accent right here. We're still doing the same pattern choice. And bam. And then you might accent here, boom, as if you go like this. Hold it, and it's that hold. It adds, ah, lovely con. Two, three, and four, five, and six. One, two, three, and four. So I might be going one, two, and I might add a the boom, boom, ba. Hi guys, hope you're doing well. It's Philippe here. And in today's video, we're going to look at a question from Zach Zamora. And Zach said, hey Philippe, if you could do a video on how to actually dance to the music as opposed to hitting basic patterns back to back, that would be great. So, thank you for the inspiration there. We're going to look at that in today's video. And in case you don't know me, I'm Philippe de Braus and I specialise in West Coast swing and solo dance. And I have influences in styles like uh, K-pop, contemporary, ballet, commercial and so on. And so I would say there are different layers depending on your experience level. Uh, so what does it mean to dance? Big question, isn't it? Does it just mean doing patterns? Uh, so I looked in a dictionary, actually in the Britannica Encyclopedia, and it says here, dance, the movement of the body in a rhythmic way, especially to music and within a given space, for the purpose of expressing an idea or emotion, releasing energy, or simply taking delight in the movement itself. In their definition, there's some interesting things to think about there. So obviously it seems like dance has to be movement. You can't just be dancing in your head and no one can see anything. So it has to be some kind of movement. So our body has loads of joints and muscles. So by moving something, that now could become dance, maybe. If we're thinking about it, maybe uh, when we have music, we start expressing it to a dance, to the music. It starts to become more, perhaps, like that, with dance. And uh, we've all experienced seeing our favorite dance video to a song you like. You heard the song, and then you saw the dance video, and then you only hear the song again, you now see the song in a new way because the way the, the dance expressed it brought maybe new life or new colour to it. Even a song that you may not have thought that was, that was okay, then you see a dance video to it with choreography and then you hear the song again and it brings you back the choreography and you actually really enjoy the song and then you start playing it again and again. That's definitely happened to me why I can't start listening to the song again and again because it reminds you of that great choreography. So what I would say as well, it's not just about moves, like dancing, uh, uh, just forcing dance onto the music, but l rather letting the music affect your dancing. And also your partner, the way they, aren't they, the way they are dancing, or the way they react to your, to your dancing as well, can have that conversation element. Great, so for the first layer, I would say you don't have to change the actual uh, choice of patterns you do, or the timing of each pattern. The first layer is to, it's just it's the way you move, or the way you're expressing in your face. So what I mean is, if we're dancing, uh, for example, sugar pushes, and we're doing this, we can do this like a robot, for example. Dance like this. But we can, if depending what the so on the song and the, what the song style is, we can change the way we're moving. For example, I might add a, if it's like an R&B funky song, I might add a little pulse groove. So now I'm dancing with a groove because the song is giving me this idea, this way of expressing myself. Same as the followers as well. They might start grooving naturally to what they feel the music is giving them. Like this. So uh, we can think about that. Uh, the, your facial expressions as well, if the song's really groovy, you might change the way it looks compared to more lyrical, sad song like this, or a smiley song. So these are already some elements you can do in the first layer. So what I would say is, is um, also think about the energy of the music. Is it a 10 out of 10 for energy? Or is it more chilled song? Or is it like really super flowy and, and uh, the en energy is much lower? So you can also think about the dial. Some people only ever have the same dial of energy. What you could try as well is that it basically, uh, by f if you feel the music, then maybe the rest will naturally come. So sometimes people overthink things and be like, oh, how do I, oh, I have to pulse with this. Oh no, I have to watch my face. Sometimes just feel it and maybe that will naturally come as well. And now for the second layer, we're still keeping the same patterns. We're not changing them, the pattern choice or as a follower. We're still, you know, we're not adding loads of styling and so on. Uh, what we think, or, or like influencing the leader's pattern choice. Um, but what we're doing instead now is adding isolations whilst we're in the middle of the pattern. So isolation is a body part that moves separately from everything else. We might want to isolate the head like this. So for example, side to side, up and down. You might want to isolate our shoulders from one up, one down. Uh, both up, both down. Rolling forwards, rolling back, whatever tickles your fancy. Or the rib cage as well, one of our favorite ones. We're isolating the rib cage from side to side going forwards and backwards, hips, you might want to isolate the hips like this, twisting them out, 
and so on. Loads of choices, these are just a few ideas. And also the knees as well, isolating the knees, or popping those knees, coming, uh, like locking those knees slightly, or coming outwards. And then we have the feet as well, isolating, for example, the, the ball of the foot or the heel. Lots of options there. So basically what I'm thinking is, if you're doing like a sugar push and you hear something in the music you want to accent, you might add a, a shoulder as you're doing that. Well, I also added a bit of the foot at the same time as well. So I might go and accent like here. We're still doing the same pattern choice. And bah. And then you might accent here, boom, triple step, and so on. Followers as well, same for you. I might be going for my and a one, and a two, three, and a four, and I might do some shoulders as I feel the music is leading me to do that. Boom, and then chest, and then the foot, and actually start adding extra things with the foot coming up and so on. So, uh, there's some more food for thought. For your second layer, we're still not changing the patterns we're choosing. We're doing them the same patterns, but in a, in a new way, adding isolation. And also, you might wanna, if you're hearing something in the song, you might wanna, the song might have a strong upbeat, so it might go boom, ka, upbeat's the stronger ka part of a lot of songs. You might add some, like a stronger strike. Uh, so you might go one, two, three, and four, five, and six, and a one. Two, three, and four, five, and six was a follower. You might go one, two, three, and four, five, and six. And uh, yeah, that's already adding new dimensions to the, to the dancing. Great, and now for our third tip, we can get now our third layer, is you can get more elaborate now by if there's a certain part of the song that's doing da 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 da, or dun da dun dun da, you can add, you can isolate that. Uh, with various body parts, including footwork. So you might want to do, for example, pas de bourre, where we're going back, back into the side, back, back to the side, and then the song might be having a certain accent you want to do, ba da ba da ba da ba, or ba da ba, ba da ba, as a leader or follower. So you start adding that within your pants as well. So if I'm doing a shaker push, one and a two, three and a four, ba da bam, ba da bam, and a one and a two, three and a four. And you get the idea. Followers as well, we might do similar thing. One and a two, three and a four, ba da bam, ba da bam, and a one, two, three and a four, five and a six. So there's lots of things we can do. Uh, Joshua Sturgeon once had a really good uh, drill we could do. And the drill is something we do in our own time to practice, a, a, to isolate a specific skill to help it become part of the muscle memory potentially. So what he had was we go, we go out, out, and then in, in. But you just keep doing that same motion, but you do it to a certain part of the song you hear, whether it's uh, lyrics or something you hear in the keyboard. So for example, uh, it might, might be a song like uh, Drake's song, I got my eyes on you. You left your mark on me, I want your high love and emotion endlessly. Mmm, do you like my singing? So that's an example of how we can practice marking out with our feet. And then you can add other various patterns as well to that, uh, various other movements rather than going out, out, in, in. You might do it with a pad of array. You might go, I got my eyes on you, you left your mark on me, for example. And that helps you then to mark it out, get into your muscle memory. So I might do a right side pass and a one and a two, three, and a four. And I hear something in the song. So I might go, and a five, and six, one, two. So I haven't necessarily changed the length of the pattern. I've just changed the, what I'm doing um, in terms of footwork in the pattern. I might do the same with other isolations and so on. So I hope that helps and you find that useful, leaders and followers. Followers, you might want to do something like, like, a, like this on the right side pass. So I might be going one, Two, and I might add a the boom boom ba five and a six because I heard that in the song, uh, so that could work as well. And now for the next layer, if you want to add this, is where we are now lengthening or shortening our pattern choice uh, as a leader or follower because you can follow you can influence your leader as well in this, which is amazing about West Coast Swing. So uh, so maybe it might be helpful to think of uh, patterns not in terms of six or eight, but more pairs of beats. So followers, I might be thinking of a pass as and a one two, one and two, one and two. As a leader, I might be going one, two, one and two, one and two. So now, well, any of those pairs, we can either make them longer or we can uh, take them away, depending what you hear in the song. So if I'm doing a right side pass leaders, you might be having something in the song which goes one, 
two and three, four, five, six, and then seven and an eight. So we're now extending, depending what we hear on a song. It could be a lyric that's going a bit longer, or a little nuance in the, in the sound. Followers, I might be going one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven and an eight, and a one and a two, three and a four, five, six, seven and an eight, and so on. So we're uh, extending or taking things away. Like in a slingshot, I love slingshots because I might go like this, hold it, and then bouncing with our partners and so on, grooving to the beat, and then going to a tuck, and then coming out of that. Uh, so we're taking and adding things away. For example, if you want to do a little slide to get on the right side pass, you might go one, two, three, and four, and five, six, seven, and an eight, and a one. And we can do that together as a partnership, and it's a beautiful moment because we're marking something we heard in the music. With a slingshot, I might go uh, one and two, three and four, and one, two, three and a four, five and a six. So we're making the pattern shorter because we want to hit something in the music. We can also extend the patterns as well, very simply at the beginning. We can stay in extension one, two, three, four, five and a six, seven and a eight. And there's a follow as well. So your leaders led that and you're going in your extension one and two. You can add some shoulder rolls and so on and before you go into compression and then you come back out again as normal. Similarly, we can also uh, extend our compression element. So if we're doing a trigger push, it can be one, two. We're going to our compression, three and and now we just we keep it in that compression. We go forward for, for four. So we can go five, six, seven and eight again. It's a one, two three and four, five, six, and then seven and eight. So yeah, so we're extending the pads depending on what you hear with something in the song you want to groove to and go a bit longer. And now another optional layer, the fifth layer, is where we're actually hitting parts of the music. We call this hitting the one. It could be a minor one or a major one. So very, very quickly, music, a lot of music, especially pop music and Western music, is structured in 32 counts. We call this a phrase. And then after the phrase is finished, the next one of the following phrase normally is something special. It might be an accent to into the, uh, a lot of energy, or it might be an accent with less energy. And sometimes we like to, to hit this as dancers. Uh, so West Coast Swing is inherently off phrase dance. If we're counting six count patterns, we're not counting eights. So we can hit the one on any point of our pattern. So I always like to start off maybe with a tuck. It's quite a nice uh, way to where we can hit the ones in the tuck. So imagine we start, and the music's on six when we begin our tuck. And we're going seven, eight, and we had the, the one. And that has a little bit more energy, and we hit that one together, and then we release out as normal. Followers as well, we're doing uh, the same thing there. We're going one, two, and then one, hitting that one. And then we're coming back out as normal for five and a six. So we're ready hit something uh, in the middle of a pattern. Um, if it's the beginning of pattern, imagine we've just done an anchor and the music now is going to, uh, for example, a major or minor one, you might want to do something at least to acknowledge it. So you might do a, a kick or change to mark, at least mark that one. Or if I'm uh, dancing as a follower, I might also do a similar thing. I might go kick, ball change, trip, pull, step, trip, pull, step. So there's a little bit of food for thought. There's a whole area there to, to talk about. Uh, for example, I wanna, if I want to hit the five uh, of the pattern, if the fifth uh, count of the pattern is hitting the one of the music, like on a tuck, I might go one, two, three, and four, five, hold six, and then we can carry on. So now instead of hitting it here, the one, at the, on the three of the tuck, I'm hitting it on the five. Again, when we hit a one, it's always good to hold it for a count afterwards. It adds more emphasis. It's hardly noticeable or not as noticeable if we don't do that. So imagine I'm doing one, two, three, and four, five, one. It's, you don't really see it as much as, as if you go like this, hold it, and it's that hold which adds ah, lovely contrast. So uh, for the followers as well, holding that one after on the tuck, so one, two, three, and four. We come around five, hold six, and then we might come out for one, or we might do triple, and so on. So get, get used to maybe at any point in those patterns, you can hit the one in the music, whether it's the three or the five, well, the one, 
three, the five, if it's a Whipple also, we can hit it on the sevens, and that might be the topic of a future video. Also, uh, when we're hitting, there's different ways we can hit. That we can have, for example, impulse and impact. They have different names depending on where you go. But if I'm, say, hitting on that right side pass, I'm hitting the three, one, two, and then I can bring the foot up and then down and hold it, which adds a really nice impact. That's like an impacting hit. But I can also do like a more melty one. One, two, and then three, four, five, and a six. So follows, you might do it like this. And a one, two, up and then down, hold that. Bah. We can also be ground if you want to as well. And we've hit, we've hit it together, and then we might anchor the five and six or whatever we choose to do. The melting way for the followers would be one, two, three, four. We might add a body roll, we'll go to the side slowly, we'll transfer the weight slowly as a leader or follower. We've looked there on the, uh, the tuck and a right side pass, potentially hitting. Uh, parts of the music. We might hit the, th the three or the five, for example. So it's a one, two, three, and a four. And then we might hit that five with a slide or five or five as, as a leader. And the five, we're doing the same on the other side. So one, two, three, and four. We might go for that five, a slide. I like to add a bit of the arm there. We might go up and then down with the foot. So uh, starting that one again from here, it will be under one, two, three, and a four, and five. Or we might add that more of a melting one. I can add the shoulder and things and so on. So, get inspired. What I'd say as well is when you work working all these layers, don't do everything in one go, because it's just gonna, the dance might become too much and there's too much going on. Sometimes I think less is more. So do, do one of these things and then go back to your home base, which is continue dancing, you know, nicely and, and, and not too, com you know, not too many of these layers, and then add another layer in, and then people will notice it. But if it's constantly doing all these things, it loses the, the effect. And guys, in case you don't know, I offer private coaching, and that can be done in person, or it can be done also online, via Zoom or another video platform, where we can watch you dancing or watch your videos, and I can give you feedback, uh, can pause the video as well, and draw annotations, and help you look at lines and angles and so on. So if that sounds interesting, do contact me. And I would love to invite you to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button below and on the bell icon, which will help you to get notified when videos are released. To continue your journey in your West Coast swing, do check out these next videos. I hope they're useful for you and do comment below uh, if you have any of your own tips as well. Mm -hmm.